I know we've talked about bait tanks a lot. Um, and we're going to get back into fishing. Don't worry about that. We are getting fired up. Me and Nick are getting ready. Uh, we've talked about a couple of different locations um, that we want to hit. So over the last three to six months, I've noticed that at least three to six fish a week have been dying. And I haven't really been adding too much to it. I've noticed the numbers just, I mean, we'll go out and go fishing. And then, uh, you know, I'll take maybe 12 to 15 uh, bait fish with me. But I've noticed the numbers just going down to where I'm about, I got about seven or eight bait fish left. I haven't gone out and filled it up yet. Um, we haven't been out, it's been a little bit cold here. But um, today I'm gonna do something about it. A little bit of a back history on me and bait tanks. Um, I've had this for about two years. Um, well, actually I've had this one for about a year and a half. Before this one, I had a horse trough. And before that, I had a kid's swimming pool. I didn't know that all these other guys had bait tanks. Um, I understand the concept. It's so much easier getting off work um, and not have to go try and catch bait, especially if your places where you go catch bait are not producing for you. So I completely understand the concept. and I love my bait tank. My kids love my bait tank. Being able to feed the fish um, just the water sound in the garage. It's nice. I like it. It's relaxing. I come out here chill So yeah, I'd actually never heard of Anyone, you know using a I'd never heard of a bait tank before I had not seen them on YouTube um, I hadn't really searched for them and so how I got started was my daughter had a small Walmart swimming pool that we put we had we had in the garage and then we got done catching some bait to go fishing and we needed to keep them alive. So I quickly filled up the pool with just hose water and I threw an aerator in there and I got to watch them swim around. There's about 30 or 40 of them. And I just had the idea like that. <laughs> I stole my kid's pool because that was in the garage filled with water and I, I would come and watch them and feed them um, for the next week. And this one's a little bit different with it being gravity fed through this hose so gravity fed all the water so that's pretty cool isn't it so all this water pushing down is creating once this is open down here some water to come up through here and get filtered through the filter sock and then there's also kind of a skimmer option and uh, that's the that's so where the water can kind of come up to the, this level once it comes up to this level it comes down this PVC pipe right here. And you can see in here where I do have an actual um, kind of a grate on the front of it so that no fish get caught on that or no fish actually get uh, stuck in the pipe. And so that also brings water down here through this second uh, filter sock. And so this is the trash can filter it's the outside filter. I keep all my, all the the uh, good bacteria and the media and all that is 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 down at the bottom. It's a lot of stuff. It's a little bit low. It's a little bit low right now. But this is what I have. So from my evolution of starting with a small kiddie pool um, bait tank to the horse trough, hundred gallon to the two hundred seventy five gallon tank, um, I thought when I started this that. As long as you keep the water clean, if, uh, you know, aeration, give them oxygen. Um, I was very naive. I was very naive. I, you know, I didn't think about ammonia, good bacteria. Um, I mean, you have, this is like very sensitive things you, you're working with here. Um, to build this up, sometimes it takes anywhere from six to eight weeks, maybe even longer, to build up a system in your filter that is starting to filter out ammonia and starting to filter out things that are harmful for the other fish. So that's where my problem is right now is that I've had periods of time where I've had over 120 fish in here. Dump, 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 dump. dump it out. Yeah, dump, dump. Whoa, got a whole fish. Yeah. So i got a couple. Let, let me get a little bit. Check out this one, Nick. Let me get a little bit. No, I'm gonna get him in the tank real quick. Okay. Just do a little bit at a time. Let's 
so just a little bit of that. All right, guys, it just adds some more fish, about 40 more fish to this uh, bait tank. Can't really tell. I mean, there's a good amount of fish. There, a lot of them are hanging out in the bottom. But there was the bar. Like, there's probably about 50 in here, and now there's close to 100. But yeah, you see, there's a lot of crappie and perch and stuff hanging out down there. But yeah, dude, they're doing really good. Getting ready to get that flathead bite on. These plants are doing really good, keeping that water healthy. So yeah, I've had over 120 fish in here, doing great. And I'd have the occasional one die. The last three to six months, um, you know, I could come in here once a day and there'd be one dead or two dead. I mean, it's just been crazy. That's like all of them did. <laughs> Wow. My solution is a, after doing a little bit of research, Nick Nick did some research as well. He was having a little bit of issues and he switched over to putting sand in the very bottom of his trash can filter. Probably about five inches. I got a bag here is what I'm going to be using. It's pool filter sand. Now with the pool filter sand, there's several different sands you can use. There's a black sand, it's blasted. Um, there's also this pool filter sand, and then there's also just regular play sand. The play sand, um, Nick went ahead and used that play sand and it seems to be working great for him. Um, another benefit with the research on this is that your water changes will be down quite a bit because with the sand, it brings in a whole new, it's a whole different type of substrate um, for your media. There's a lot of people that use sand and they never they never have to change their water um, I'm not saying that that's gonna be a possibility here But I've got to do something. Um, I hope you guys can kind of understand what this trash can filter does Holds all the media that collects the you know good bacteria and That's what the water runs through gets purified. It helps lower the ammonia levels Um turns that into uh, basically a healthy tank. So at the very bottom, like I told you, there are two inputs. So these, these are both putting water into the trash can. And this PVC pipe runs all the way down to the bottom of the trash can and out and down there. There's a pump that's connected to the bottom of that PVC pipe that's pushing the water that's put through the media. It's gonna be pumped back up into the tank and in right here. And if you can see, if you can see there are bubbles coming out of it and that is because of this system here with poking a hole in the top. It's basically like free aeration. Um, so that's what my system is right now. You know, after I take this, all this stuff out, the sand is gonna raise it three or four inches and then I need to build a little platform for the pump to sit on so that it's not sitting in the sand um, so it's not sucking up sand what I'm going to do is put the sand down build a small platform for the pump to sit on and then I'm going to need to and then what that's going to do is that's going to raise this whole mechanism up to probably about here so I'm going to need to cut the difference off reconnect it to the pump so that it's about equal to where it has been and then i think we're good to go all right guys head to the grocery <laughs> not the grocery store <clears throat> actually i don't care if the grocery store has the sand or not I'm, i'll go wherever it takes but uh we're gonna get this tank right we were out of town for the catfish conference this year here in kansas city um, that steve douglas helps put on so hope you guys if you were able to you're able to actually go to that. Hopefully it was good. I heard it was good, but um, if you guys have a conference in your town, go to it, it's fun. Um, if you like to YouTube, a lot of guys there at the conference will actually give you advice. Um, River Certified talked to us for a good 20 minutes um, last year. Um, good guy, awesome guy. So, um, yeah. Sorry we weren't able to make it this year to the conference in Kansas City. Um, I know 
all of you guys were there just like, where's Catfish KC at? I know that's how it, how it was, um, and I apologize for not letting you guys know uh, ahead of time. I'm glad you still went though. <laughs> but um, yeah, if we weren't out of town, we would have gone. So hopefully if you guys went, you enjoyed it. All right, well, I'm gonna go see what kind of sand they have, if they do have any, or if they clo they're closed. Sometimes they get slow and they just close, but uh, wish me some luck. So, paid a little more than I wanted to. Uh, it was 20 bucks, but um, I wasted a lot of time out there catching bait fish when they just die the next day. So, it's worth it. This is what I got. Tool filter sand. We got 50 pounds right there. So, let's go ahead and get this thing going. I'm glad they had it. It's This is like less than half a mile from my house. So that was awesome. They had some pool, pool filter sand, which is about four times as much as regular sand, but oh, totally worth it. As you guys see, I had to back up the car to the garage here, because that 50 pound bag. And this is it. So pool filter sand, it's going to hopefully allow water to move through it, um, but also allow media and things to kind of rest in it and settle as well. And as it does that, water moving through that kind of help filter the water in the entire tank. And that is the entire goal. Keeps filters working efficiently. Lady at the, sh the store was like, oh, having a pool, that sounds like a problem I'd like to have. And I'm like, well, I mean, mine kind of, it fits me. I've been in here before, but it's uh, it's really like one or maybe two people at the most can fit in, but she said she was jealous. The play sand, um, the sandbox sand or project sand, it's about five dollars to six dollars a bag for a fifty pound bag, which is great. Um, only thing is, is that when it gets wet, it gets it really compacts, and it doesn't really allow things of water to get through it very easily. And so um, I wanted to get a sand. Um, the pool filter sand is a sand to where the water can actually get through it a lot easier. So you've got your media in the, in the filter, you've got your sand as kind of the substrate, the, the base, and you want that water to be able to move through it, cleanse itself, and then go back into your tank. And that's why I spent $20 on a bag instead of $5 on a bag, because it's frustrating going out there to catch 30 bait fish, and then all of a sudden they're dead the next day. I'm gonna go ahead and drain about 30% of the water out of this tank. Uh, reason being, the water might not be the best quality and to start with some fresh water might be helpful. Um, about 30% will probably help out quite a bit. So I'm going to take this gravity fed uh, hose right here. I'm gonna just pull that over to the side of the tank right here. I'm gonna connect a hose that goes onto a vacuum to it and it'll just drain right out my garage and down my driveway first thing i'm gonna do is is i'm gonna pour that sand into a bucket i'm gonna pour some of my water from the tank into that bucket and fill that up kind of clean the dust off of it before it goes in the trash can i'm gonna take all the media that's in the trash can filter here all that media and media balls is going to be going in a five gallon yeah it's gonna be going in a five gallon bucket with my tank water now I know that this water might not be the best quality water but I don't want to use the hose water at this point could ruin some good bacteria that is built up All right, let's go ahead and drain some of this water out. I've got this hose hooked up to a vacuum hose. And you know what, whatever works. Let's turn this water back on. C 
see if that works. There we go. Got water coming out. I've drained, it looks like more than 30% of the water. So, this is what we're looking at. You can kind of see the level here. Dump in some sand. Okay, that'll work. Let's go ahead and try and spread it out evenly down here. Okay, that looks pretty even. So now I'm gonna build my platform so that it's not sitting in that sand right there. Okay, that took a little bit of time, but I got the sand in and reinstalled the pump, cut the pipe down. You can see in there, it's got a little platform. So just to wrap it up, everything went pretty smoothly. I did have to cut out a piece of uh, PVC tubing that I had accidentally glued. So don't glue everything. Not everything needs to be glued. Um, but I've got the sand in as a substrate right now. Actually looks kind of cool with the platform. Let me show you here. You can kind of see in there a little bit. You see that. We've got a little platform with a pump sitting on, sitting on. And it's got sand all around it. And it's also got about three inches, three, three, three and a half inches where sand's not gonna, sand's not really gonna get into the pump. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put about half of my media, half of this media back in and my media balls back in there. So yeah, I didn't want to overwhelm it by putting too much media in there. The sand is going to do a, a really good job, I believe, um, with just things I've heard, done the research on. So I'm excited to see how it turns out. Um, another thing I'm doing is I just got a, well, I just got my um, heater out because I noticed my water was 51 degrees um, and as you see this plant has not been doing the best the plant was taken off the plant was just taken off and then all of a sudden it stopped and that's because the water temperature got so cold and and the door to this garage door is open a lot so um, I'm gonna I got that heater I want this to be about 68 degrees 65 to 70 degrees in here um, it'll probably be closer to 65 so yeah that's it like I said I really like the, the clean look it has in here that sand is a little bit it's a little bit larger particles and I can really tell that it's it's not com compacting as hard when it's wet as uh, regular play sand or construction sand when you're doing the project so I would suggest going that route. Like I said, it was $20 for a 50 pound bag instead of the other sand, which is about five or $6 for a 50 pound bag. And I think that's not that much money. And I think, especially if it actually makes a huge difference. Probably on our next, next fishing video, I'll let you guys know how the tank's doing. Uh, that way we're getting back into fishing. We're excited. I gotta blow the dust off of these bad boys here. All right, so as you can see here, I did go ahead and fill it back up. And water's actually pretty clear. Um, I see a little bit of haze in there, maybe from the sand, but um, that should probably clear up within the next day or so. So, all right, guys, I'm finally done with this project and um, I can't wait to see how it works. Um, less water changes is gonna be awesome. Uh, get, get that nitrate level down a little bit, get some the good bacteria just back up to where it needs to be uh, to sustain a hundred fish if I need to. Um, but if you guys have any questions about any of this stuff or anything we do, um, just leave a comment down below. 
leave a comment down below and I'll try and answer that for you. Um, either if I don't know, then Nick probably knows. He's smart. He's a smarty pants. So um, we'll try to get back with you. All right, guys. Well, we appreciate you guys. Have a happy Christmas. I mean a Merry Christmas. Have a Merry Christmas, guys. Thank <laughs> you.